Have you ever gotten the perfect action figure for your ride, but then come to find out it won't even fit? Well, today we're gonna do some modifying on Terrell. I'm John Holmes with Holmes Hobbies. Stay tuned. Hey, Terrell, you wanna go for a ride in the rig? Well, I'd sure love to, but, but I just can't fit. Let me show you. Okay, I'm just gonna collapse here for a second. Uh, I seem to got some inflexibility hip problems in here. Oh, oh. Well, you know, I could probably just turn around like this and sit, but I don't know how comfortable that's going to be for the long run. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, how about you take me to the hospital and we have a little surgery? All right, buddy. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. So first, we're probably just going to get a really sharp knife and we're going to cut a little bit. Okay, just give me some of them good drugs. I don't think there are any of that. I'm just going to collapse here for a little bit and let the big hands do the work. Hey, Daryl. Or, Terrell, I'm sorry. Thanks for coming in today to the hospital. I am Dr. Feelgood and I'm going to make you feel alright. So, I heard that you had a little bit of hip inflexibility problems. Sure do. About right in here, so just, uh, you know, I need to be able to get in my rig. Just, uh, just, just doesn't do it. Look at there. Ah, uh, it needs some flexibility. All right. Well, you came to the right place. Uh, as you can see, I have this really sharp knife that I'm going to be very careful with. And we'll just kind of open up your hips a little bit. Does that sound all right? Yep, sounds fine to me. All right, Terrell. I'll just have you sign a couple of consent forms and we'll be on the way. So the first thing that we need to do is figure out where your hips are binding. And as we can see, well, they don't bind in one direction, but they bind in the other. So we can probably just try to make them symmetrical. Uh, now that you have signed our consent forms and will definitely not sue me for cutting into you, we're just going to do a little bit of action here. So, Terrell, how long you been wheeling and not being able to fit in your vehicle? Pretty much all my life. I never remember a time except for when I was a child when I could fit into my, my favorite vehicles. Well, that's a shame. I'm, I'm glad you came to us, though, because there's really no better time than now to have surgery done, especially when it's completely elective, and you could probably just get the flexibility on your own. But you know what? We are in America, and in America, we want results now. So we are just going to continue cutting on your hips. Does that sound pretty good? Sounds fine to me, Doc. Better be able to go riding tonight. Yes, I think you'll be able to go riding by tonight. Uh, and, uh, hopefully, we won't bleed out at the same time. So, you know, there's just that to look out for. But, you know, you're in really good hands. There's a reason that they call me Dr. Feelgood. All right, we're just, uh, just going to see what this little modification has done for us, Terrell. Hmm, it looks like you really got some binding in your hips. Well, we do have a little bit more flexibility than the other ones but yeah okay so we're hitting right up in here we'll just cut right up in there next think you could move that that leg out of the way for me let's see mm, nope doesn't look like it we'll just cut around it no worries buddy you're in good hands uh yeah good doctor all right it seems that we're starting to make a little bit of progress here terrell like I said before, I'm really glad that you came in for this totally elective surgery because nobody wants to spend the time to get more flexible. You know, you could have you could have just taken yoga, you know, but uh, since I'm a surgeon, I definitely recommend surgery as the best route. I saw that you came in today with a friend. He was, uh, for some reason, wearing motocross gear in the hospital. I don't quite get what that's about, but... Uh, you know, not really any of my business. Yeah, that's my, my friend Travis Pastrami. He's really into motorcycles. Yeah, I could kind of, I could see that. I could see that. But, uh, you know, next time, maybe tell him that uh, he should wear street clothes into the hospital and probably be a good idea to wear a mask right now, too. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of a hard-headed guy, so we'll see. We are making some progress. As you can see, we've cut out a lot of bone fragments that just seem to be limiting your range of motion. 
If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were about 80 years old with all these bone spurs that are coming off. Well, as, as you know, Doctor, being a professional wrestler is not an easy job on the body. I believe that. Well, if you ever need any steroids, you can come talk to me. Because I know that all you guys sure love those steroids. You know, Terrell, you could probably take some stretching lessons from your friend Mr. Pastrami. I mean, he's over here showing us how amazingly flexible he is. He can do splits in about eight different directions. Yeah, well, he had the help of a Dremel, so you can go shove it, doctor. All right, all right, I'll just continue with my work. I won't make any more value judgments. Do you think it'd be okay if we cut into your legs a little bit, too? Yeah, I reckon. Whatever. You're the doctor. Just get me in that dang truck. All right, well, we'll just find where we're having some problems here. Kind of looks like by your groin section is the next part where it's going to start hitting. We have gotten a little bit better flexibility now, but I don't think you're actually going to be able to fit in the truck yet. Let's just test her out. Nope, not gonna fit. Not gonna fit, all right. Time to modify your groin. Looks like right in there is about where it's hitting. Is that cool with you? Uh, I reckon. All right, here goes nothing. A little bit there, a little bit there. I'll try not to cut your Peter off. Do you even have one? I don't know. I've never, I've never really worked on action figures before, so you have to pardon my ignorance. All right, Tara, we're gonna have to really modify it between your legs here, so I'm gonna be super careful. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we need to do. There it is. You know, one piece by one piece, we just figure out what's hidden and we cut it away. Yep, you're the expert, doctor. Hey, look at there. We definitely have an increase in flexibility. So what we're going to do next is a little more cutting on the other leg. All right, Terrell, uh, we've modified quite a bit. We've taken off a, a decent amount of material as well. You know, if I knew that this was going to be a weight loss surgery, I would have charged you extra, but, uh, you know, whatever. All right, Doc, I'll try to hop in. We'll see if we fit now. It's closer. Oh, look at there. Looky there. You can... You can sit almost flat butted and enjoy the ride. That wasn't too bad, was it, Terrell? No, sir. Thank you, Dr. Feelgood. Well, it looks like we need a little bit more modification, Terrell. Uh, you gonna be okay with this? Ah, uh, anesthetic's starting to wear it. God, oh, God, God, oh, God, it hurts. <laughs> so does so doing this voice. <laughs> Oh, thanks for coming into surgery today. Really appreciate it, Terrell, and uh, we'll just bill your insurance, and then they will probably tell you that you have to pay a full price. Cool with me, Doc. All right, we're ready to go. Do 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 do. Oh, you're still not very flexible, Terrell. Everybody in. You better grab onto that bar. It's going to be a bumpy ride, buddy. Cool. Y'all ready to go for a ride? Yes, sir. Yeehaw, buddy. Don't forget to bring a towel. Face reveal at Terrell's Subs. Hey, Terrell, you got some subs? Yeah, all right. So, as you can see, Terrell now fits in the vehicle. We only have a small pile of plastic. We only voided the warranty a couple times and we didn't chop off any fingers. So I would say that is a success. That is going to be all for today. If you do have any questions about cutting plastic and how dangerous it is and how fun it is to play with action figures, post them down below. I do thank you for tuning in and have a good day. What do you prefer to cut with? A sharp knife or a dull knife? Have you ever had to modify your action figures to fit into your vehicle?
You probably have. What did you modify on them? Has your action figures ever been so big that you literally had to chop their legs off? I know I probably have a few around here. So where do you find your action figures from? I do know there's a few companies that offer 3D printed custom ones, but maybe you steal them from your sister or daughter. Or maybe you have them yourself. Nothing wrong with boys playing with toys! What is your favorite action figure to use in these scale vehicles? Maybe Ninja Turtles? I don't know. Their shells are kind of big, if you ask me.